If you really hate the Sunday scaries feeling where you're dreading Monday, then I want to really encourage you to get some Sunday afternoon and Sunday evening routines down that'll help you start the week off so peaceful. So I'm a routine connoisseur. I like to say I have a lot of routine products, family routine reboots, simple school routines, a lot of workshops about this, but I'm gonna tell you why routine is so important and why I harp on and on and on about it is because one of the biggest factors of us feeling depressed and stressed and overwhelmed is that we feel helpless and out of control. One of the easiest to do, best solutions for not feeling helpless and out of control is having a good routine where we know all the things that need to get done will get done and we know there's gonna be a time for them to get done. And another reason is because Mondays can come and just feel overwhelming, like we have so much we have to do, you know, we're going into the fray again. Feeling like Sunday evening is like a peaceful cocoon sets the week up well. The number one thing to do on Sunday as a general rule is to look at the week ahead. So if you need to get with your spouse or your kids, if they're old enough or they have an activity, you know, if you have any games that week, if you have any lessons, are there any birthdays? Are there any events? Are there appointments? And you just want to take a look at the week ahead. Now, if you have a very chaotic schedule, then <laughs> this might be stressful for you. This is something good to revisit and not let each day just come upon you. Whatever the case might be, have a look at your schedule. If you look at it and it scares you, then <laughs> Follow up on this and figure out if there's things that you need to stop doing. You, you know what to do. You don't want to look at your schedule every week and hate your life. Make sure and get everything that you're going to be doing clear and down on paper. The second thing you can do for the week that not everybody would like to do, and this might be overkill, I don't know. We love to pick out our kids' clothes for the week. And sometimes I like to pick out my own clothes for the week. If I'm feeling like already like, oh, I know I'm just gonna wanna wear my pajamas and my yoga pants all day. Like I already feel like I have no energy. Spending 20 minutes and picking out all my clothes for the whole week is a great thing to do because then every day I just put them on and I don't even think about it. And we do this with the kids in, in the morning to avoid any power battles about what to wear is that we'll, they can pick out their clothes and put them in their bags. My mom likes to come and help pick out the boys clothes because they have a lot of shirts that match and my daughter and I will get out all of her clothes and make outfits and it doesn't take long at all but it just means that on the school mornings this cuts back on so much chaos because they just wake up open the bag for the day of the week put the clothes on and go is this absolutely necessary no but this is something that you can do at the beginning of the week that makes the rest of the week so much less stressful. If you know that you need to improve your family routines or you want your family routines to sort of help make life less stressful, I actually have an entire workshop called Family Routines Reboot. It's a three day challenge to help you, your child routines, the overall family routines, your self care routines, and I'll link that in the description, but you can also check it out at amotherfarfromhome.com slash reboot. So another thing I like to do on Sunday to get ready for the, the day ahead is that I wanna pack my supplements. So this is something that I often do as, as a cancer survivor. There's a few that are really important that I do. And so I make sure and pack those. This could be vitamins. If anybody in your family has medication that they take every day. If you make smoothies, for example, you can fill the smoothie bags. So this would be any kind of meal prep, any something that you can prepare. A lot of people on Sundays like to make some muffins are gonna heat up or some breakfast casserole or they can bake in the morning whatever the case may be. This would be like anything that you can do for a few days in advance on Sunday that doesn't take a long time, I highly recommend. So another thing that is a good to do on Sundays is to meal plan and organize your grocery pickup. So I have some people who want to go to the grocery store. You're going to do that on whatever day that makes sense to you. Since I do pick up, then I, we want to make sure that at the beginning of the week, we have enough food for the week. And I like to do, okay, here's all the different meals. And I might go on the, online and look up favorite websites and get some meal ideas. I might go into my pantry and into my freezer. What do I have left? What can I make from that so that I can make a list? Look at my schedule. What's happening this week? Oh, two of the days I know we're going to be eating out or somewhere else. 
so I can buy less groceries. And then I will organize it and schedule it. And so this also takes some thinking away because then on say a Tuesday, I don't have to go, what are we gonna make? I just go over and do the thing I already told myself I was gonna do. And that's part of what a routine is. It's like when we're in a good headspace, we're gonna make a plan and we're gonna tell ourselves what to do. And then later, whenever we're like floating by and have no energy, we're just gonna do what we told ourselves to do before. And then it's gonna get done. And it doesn't require us feeling enthusiastic about it. We just do it. So sit down, whether you get out your cookbooks or it's just family favorites that you know you have and just make a list and organize your grocery pickup. Another thing I love to do on a Sunday to close out the weekend is to do a more thorough evening sweep. And I've talked about that before, but that's basically when I go through all of the common areas, whether it's the kitchen or the living room, in my bedroom, bathrooms, whatever. And I wanna sweep, maybe literally, or maybe figuratively. And I wanna get put clutter back. Things that got brought out over the weekend, I want to put them back where they go. This might be toys, it might be blankets, it trash, leftovers, whatever it is. I wanna put the house to bed in a little bit more of a thorough way than I might do every night. I wanna wake up on my Monday morning and feel like I can do today. I can do today. We can do today. Oh yeah, people, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Because there's a feeling of order that happens whenever we've gotten the house in order. And if we wake up on a, at the beginning of the week and we look at the week before us and the house is already messy, it's a real demoralizing feeling. And so my last thing that it's really good for us to do on Sunday evenings, and that is peaceful things. I'm kind of against gruesome entertainment. What's wrong with society if we really want to like watch people get like murdered? But I'm particularly against it at the end, end of a long weekend when you want to have a peaceful mindset of going into the week. So this might be if you're going to watch something, watch something more peaceful or more wholesome. It might be reading a book, doing a crossword. My husband have a little book of questions you can ask and write down, like a question a day. Having a nice cup of tea. It might be sitting in a comfy chair with some candles or listening to some music. I actually have articles on lots of different things you can do in the evenings that are free that can bring you a lot of peace in a mindset way. We want to make sure that we're closing out the week feeling at peace. So this could be stretching. I really sometimes if I feel tense at the end of the day I'll go on YouTube and find like a 10 minute stretching video because like let's be honest I'm not going to do like a long workout or anything. 10 minutes of stretching can really make you start yawning and yawning you're releasing a lot of tension and you're ready to go to sleep. Anyway, I could go on and on. You get what I'm saying. Reserve some nice like rituals and habits for you to do on Sunday evening or any evening really but particularly on Sunday evening so that you can sort of relax and just be ready and have a joyful expectancy for Monday instead of dreading it. Make sure to catch my next video where I talk about mindsets that all minimalist moms have. And this isn't just about our stuff. This is about our life.